Okay, now we we have a conference on community based adaptation, uh, which is community level, obviously, local level. That is when we move up the now into a wider context of lots of people involved in the effects for widespread. There's a lot of chances for it to come from that. So when you see each of you from the perspective of the research, there's a few things that have experienced in the community. There's a few of these different approaches, there's different projects, there's a range of different people and fellows and organizations that have been working with an each diversity of communities. And this experimentation is the part of the we all need to be experienced in different things in order to figure out what works. Because of course, that this is something we need to do for it. If we are using tools to work for something, and the process of figuring out what works, and the process that we are just going to do. And I'm just going to get there, not praying, just a bit for you. It's fine in the day, but for a lot of people, they're working in small projects, possibly funded, and they need they want to experiment, they like to know the results before they're found, the heads of the street. Is that a particular problem? It's a good problem. We need to get a real evidence of this particular set of community for this particular one to help. This is a long time process. We need to know things for 10, 20 years what we need to do this visit. Even in the places where we're most in the middle of the development of it. And we're going to need sources of funding that are going to utilize tech tools to be able to keep better practice process of experimentation and learning over that kind of experience. But most of the sources of funding currently are problematic, but they have to be seen as a movement and a skill towards more long term thinking, long term planning at the policy level. For example, there's the new national education policy that is taking a good for us. And this is the in process where things are likely to be a process of time that really does work for the modern lifestyle. But it also seems to take into account the experimentation of time and the previous community processes. And those long term planning processes need to recognize that it's going to be the same as that community level. And that it's hard to get past this long term process. So you've got to capture the dynamism. So there is a sort of flexibility of him and you have to go down over the top of 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 the what we need to know is for the people who've been involved in that plan to be recognizing what they've been doing. To not only to replicate a particular project, but to argue for the replication of what we want to process and to make that possible at the moment. So I think this is our challenge for the people who have been involved in that plan to be involved is to figure out how we do and support that process into these larger steps in the community and the industry. Thank you very much, Kevin McCoy, Royal Research Institute, and the Royal Research Institute, for reminding us to stay on the same page.